everyone i'm sharing with you how to make another easy wallet the interface that i'm using to make a template the size of this interface is 9 inches wide and 15 inches long i use this for interface for something else but then i didn't use it so i'm gonna use it on the right side and on the left side we're gonna bring it in five inches you can mark the size five inches on the bottom and then on the left also the other five inches and then from on the side here going up six and a half inch and on this side same thing six and a half after that you're going to connect this six and a half in together It's a straight line on the top so go like all the way on the top like that so connect all the way to the top the five inches all the way and so now you're going to cut the two on the side and keep the middle So now you have something like this. I'm gonna fold it top here on the top. So I'm using this thread, or you can have a couple or something. I don't have anything near me, so I'm gonna curl this one like that. I just want around this area. So you're going to place it on the fabric of your choice using this fabric that I got the other day at Walmart for big giant ayas and it's only a few dollars it's on sale. Go to, you know what you do, you go on a Walmart and type fabric clearance. After I iron on the in the fabric, the interfacing on the fabric, I'm going to cut an extra half an inch all around it. Like that. Go an extra, you can see the extra half an inch, I go all around. After I cut this main piece, go ahead and place right on like side by side like this. Get the pin like this. With the flat one, work much better then the one like a bar at the end so go ahead and cut this out everyone okay so everyone after i cut this out i like you to sew all around but uh, right here right in here you're going to leave you're gonna leave about three in three inches or so so you can inside out so follow that interface and that we've fold uh we iron in here and uh, um sew all around follow this very easy it's already half there and stop here leave this area open so everyone after i sew all around and i left it here three inches or so so i can inside out you can go ahead and press the side like this all around that will help too when you inside out it will stay down for you So go on to this side you see this one right here you go ahead and cut down to here so it can go 
to the corner when you're inside out. So go ahead and do this. I have the scissor I want to share with you here. This is the scissor that I have. Usually when I do some area like this, I'm cutting like this. So then it keep the the full light better when I inside out. So you go on to iron all around this. So everyone, when you're done iron all around, I need you to top stitch all around everywhere. Go ahead and top stitch everyone. Okay, so everyone, after I top stitch all around, I'm going to turn in the wrong side facing up. You see this block right in the middle. What easy for you to do? You want to make sure it's even or not? You're gonna fold in this way. This is the option for you to do if you want to make sure you can see the line in the middle right here okay so after you fold here it in you want to mark an inch and a quarter do the same thing to this side but I'm going to do one side at a time a quarter up and inch on the fold you're going to fold like this go ahead and iron this down You're going to fold this back and move this line. When you move this line and it meet the center here, that means you fold it good and even. Fold it back. Right. I'm going to clip it down here. Clip it down and I'm going to iron it. Do the same thing to this side. Remember the middle line now is easier because this side is right there in the middle for you to to follow the guideline, very easy everyone. This is the best and easy wallet. Okay, this side you're gonna do the same thing. You fold it in. And if you don't want to take a quad up and in, you can just follow the guideline, but I just wanna make sure. A quad up and in right there. I'm going to flap it out when I flap it out I bring it in when I bring it in it have to meet the other side like that you see right in the middle iron it so Fold the center, that's the best way you can follow. So now you have something like this. You're gonna hold this two together. I think it's best to you hand sew. I'm gonna go right in to this side. You're going to do all the way over, same stitch like this. So everyone after I sew the line here, I do this so it doesn't stand out so uh, big. So now you're going to fold this up to meet this line here. Don't do anything. The second one right next to the flap, don't do anything. Okay, this two right here, you're going to sew it together. So I'm going to clip that too. I'm going to go to here like this, okay? I go all the way down like this. And from here, I'm going to clip it down so it won't move away from me. Later on, I'll show you what to do. We're going to go to this side too. So I'm going to take this out. The first one we skip, the one with the flap we skip, this two we need to sew thin. You're going to sew it in, so then you have to clip it down. Okay. 
you can fold it like this okay it doesn't do anything to this now like this okay then you're gonna clip it down here you're gonna sew it right here everyone so very close to the end here it's like one eighth of an inch and same thing to here you fold in this you can flap this down out oh, it's okay okay like that after you sew you can put it back on okay now go ahead and sew this line too It goes smooth. Look at this. So nice. Then you take this out, you can put it back on. So everyone, this is finished. You see, we sew on this one and it stay like that. So now it make it free slot right here. Time to put the button on. So I using this one that I got it online and it came with everything in one so it's good enough to make um light time wallet or purse look at that so much I already get two set of button you want to make sure everything light up and then you're gonna move this one in when you move this flap in you're gonna make sure everything fit perfectly and how it should be like this And then I will mark it right. You, you, you can estimate where you want the button to be. So I want it to be right here, that one. And right across from here, I want another one on the back here. Then I mark it there. And then I go on the back, I mark it here. It's easy to do that way. So now I have two mark right here. Bring it down. You see you have two buttons on the side like that. Now you're gonna press mark right here one and one here. Right there, you lift it up, put your hand right there. You're gonna mark it right there. So now you have it there. So then this one too. Go ahead and hold your thumb in there and mark it from the inside. Look good. So now I'm gonna go ahead from the back here. Do this. There's one, and then you do the same thing to the other one. Sexy. Okay, nice, everyone. Look at that button. Different. If you want to make one, just put it one. Now, look at the inside. You have three slots. Very cute. Look at that. How cute is this? You can put anything in one in the, your pocket if you like to. I just have a few dollars to, to, just to show you. How to do that i'm going to put some credit card in here you have plenty of room and then some change close it move it in here and it's here you're gonna snap and that's it Ta -da! you're done with the wallet let me just show you this is Three and then have a quarter, and the long is four in and three four, almost five inch long. Look at this, everyone! So beautiful. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.